is so beautiful today. What it a is. great day. It's going to be <laughs> looking forward to this for a long time. Definitely a dream come true. We've talked about it since the beginning, and now we're going to have a chance to have a place for our own family here. Can you believe it? No, I'm so excited. Hi, I'm Ashley. And I'm Rob. And we are here in Orange Beach looking for our dream home. So I can't wait to see what we have. Yeah, there's no place I'd rather be, really. I mean, the beautiful beaches, the white sand. Mm -hmm. I mean, really feel the like... The food, the fishing. Yeah, this is definitely the place we want to be. Yeah. You might think this wonderful swath of white sugar sand beach is in Hawaii or Tahiti or some other exotic destination. But this unexpected gem is in the great state of Alabama. Orange Beach is rich with Southern hospitality, spectacular vacation homes, and a laid back attitude that makes it a unique, come as you are, vacation destination. This spot is truly the sweet home Alabama anyone would wish for. There is more to love than just the amazing beaches, as if that isn't enough. Orange Beach boasts some of the best kayaking and fishing in the world dolphins playing in the lagoons, and access to miles of hiking trails that take you through thick pine forest. There is always something to do here. It is no wonder that Rob and Ashley have had a long time dream of making Orange Beach their home. On average, four bedroom single family beach homes are going for under 1.4 million, so they can get more paradise for their dollar. But the secret, it is out. There is very limited inventory, and they will need to act quickly to get their slice of Alabama heaven. Looking at these little peekaboo views, and we're heading to the end of the street. I can't wait to see what it's going to look it's like, though. <laughs> probably going to be very amazing. You're going to love it. So I've always wanted a beach house growing up on the water and fishing my whole life. It's always something that I wanted to do. So I made a joke always growing up that when I retire, it's going to be at the beach fishing. So <laughs> I'm trying to get one step closer. So I actually grew up coming here as a little girl uh, since I was six years old, running up and down the beach with my grandparents. He taught me how to fish. He's the one that taught me how to bait my own hook. I Which is amazing to find a girl that baited her own hook and take a fish off. I wasn't allowed to fish unless I could bait my own hook. And so I love Orange Beach. I have so many memories here to bring my son here and create memories as well. This place feels like home. So this house right here, um, it's in Terry Cove Harbor neighborhood. It's one of the top neighborhoods in all of Orange Beach. So it's a four bedroom, five bath house, and it's 3,200 square feet. Okay. And it's listed at 2.6 million. All right, so a little bigger. Definitely so, over budget. Right. Our budget's gonna be around 2 million for this house, you know, I'm open to going above budget if it's turnkey, move-in ready, but we kind of really want to stay around the $2 million mark. He wants to stay around the $2 million mark. I think we're going to have to go closer to two and a half to find something that we really want. You know, if we want to be oceanfront, we're going to have to pay a little bit more. Wow. Yeah, yeah. a lot of space. Yeah, and look space. at that view across the water. <laughs> oh, I love yeah. being on a cul-de-sac. I can say that right now. Right? Yes. So this house was built in 1997, but it was remodeled mm. in 19 and 2021. Okay. So, so post-hurricane remodel. Yes. Okay. Well, let's go. All right. My name is Reagan Davis. Um, I specialize in luxury real estate and short-term rentals here in Orange Beach and Gulf Shores. So the market, I mean, everyone knows, it's crazy everywhere. It really hasn't slowed down, but especially here, because it's Alabama, we've got low property taxes, but we've got that Florida feel. And so if Ashley and Rob, they really want to get something, they want to find their home, then they have to move really quickly. We don't have a lot of time to drive their feet. I love the stairs going up to the main living area. Yeah. So this would be more of a grand entrance, you know? Mm -hmm. Come inside. Oh my goodness. Wow. That view. <laughs> that is the million dollar view. That, that is the million dollar right view. That is what you come here for. Unbelievable. That is amazing. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> when do we sign? Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> wow. Okay, so right into the dining room. Yes. I gotta say, that is a cool beachy chandelier. That mm -hmm. is really pretty. So course, it opens man. kind of right into the living space, which I like that. Yeah. I can see Caden <laughs> running full speed into these. <laughs> tell you. Caden is our 10 year old son. He is about to go into fourth grade. Mm -hmm. And so he's the only child, but he keeps us busy. He's just the joy of our life. He's such a good kid and he is, loves coming to Orange Beach. Wow. 
I love the countertops. I love the color of the countertops. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I would paint the cabinets and make them a little lighter to feel like you're at the beach. I did really want that beach house feeling, but how can it not feel like a beach house right. in this oh, view? Yeah. Yeah. So there's one bedroom on this floor. Okay. Is it the master? It is not the master. It's okay. not the master. That's right. <gasps> Look at that view. <laughs> yep. I think your mom and Caden will be fighting over this room. Yes, <laughs> definitely. And it's got a big ensuite bath. Oh, All right. Nice. Oh, wow. This is huge. Look at that this shower. This is big. So is this the only bathroom on, on this level? On the first floor, yes. Okay. Okay, but look, there is a separate little pocket door here. Nice. And look, it's actually a dual bathroom. There's two, two toilets. Times. Seriously. That's... We may have to share this one down here. Yeah, this actually would <laughs> make a great master. His space, my space. So Rob and I, we've known each other for 12 or 13 years, married for 11 years. Rob used to play for a men's Atlanta baseball league and I was going with some mutual friends to go watch the game. And we all just kind of hung out that first time. And I said to my friends, I think I'm ready to start dating again. And he sent me a text message saying, okay, well, let me take you on a date and show you how you're supposed to be treated. And so that was the start of it. And after that, it was about two or three dates of golfing which to me was just like, here's a girl that loves sports, she loves fishing, and she's beautiful. No, oh, thank you. I think this is gonna be Caden's room. Oh yes, nice big picture window. Yeah. I can see this working for him. The yeah. real gem of this house is the master. Oh. oh. This is a really nice master. Yeah. I would drink coffee here every morning, yeah. looking out, watching the boats go by. You wanna go see the pool? Yes, uh, I wanna yes. see this outside. Oh, wow. Now this is what I think of when I want to come to the beach. I want to see this view. Yeah, this is a nice entertaining space. I mean, you can have a lot of people out here and I got a dock with a lift. But I really think this would be a great space for an office for you. Yeah, you're right. I just want to yeah. be out here all day. I always knew I was going to go into the family business. Um, so I did business administration and minored in accounting. I came back, started working for my grandpa and my dad's printing company. You know, growing up, this is all I knew. You know, the, the business was started two years before I was born. So I grew up sweeping the floors down there, running the rewinders. I mean, to me, it was always what my life was going to be and I what I thought my son's life was going to be. I convinced my dad to start a digital side of the industry. And it took us from a small $700,000 a year company to over a $15 million company in the short time of 10 years with all organic growth. So by selling the business, I was able to transition into a new role um, where I could spend more time with my family, be able to work from the beach and not be in the plant every single day and be able to enjoy my life more with my family. Yeah, I want to see the stock. All right. This is definitely a fishing haven here, so I think we'll, you'll have good luck fishing here. No covered though, so it's all open. Yeah, it is kind of disappointing that it's not covered. But yeah, I mean, it's an amazing house. You know, the price, 2.6. That's way over budget. And I'm really far from the beach. You're right. But you know, the trade-off is the privacy. But again, the views. Aesthetically, we can change things inside the house, but you can't replace this. No, you really can't. Well, that's a tough decision, but I'm excited to see what else Reagan has to show us. Let's go see, it's a great right. start. All right, so what we're gonna go see now is really close to the beach, probably about six minutes by car. We've got all the waterways for boating, but it's more residential. Awesome. That will be great. Yeah. So it's a four bedroom, five bath house, just over 3,500 square feet. And it's listed at 2.25 million. Ooh, I like that price. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the square footage is nice as well. Oh, nice. I'm so excited to see it. Yeah. I love this. The black and the white, how it contrasts. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But you have construction right there. Yeah, coming you right do have construction. Us, so. yeah. yeah, that's kind of a bummer. But, but I'm really excited to see the inside yeah. of this one. Yes. Let's go. It's beautiful. See so you guys head on in. The staircase is beautiful. Yes. Beautiful light fixtures. Love the floors. <gasps> wow. 